Hey everyone, welcome back to another math example video. Um, your host, you know, your only host on this YouTube channel, for now at least. Today we're going to talk about interpret, um, interpreting quadratic graphs. So let's go ahead and pull up some of these problems. Um, today's problems are going to be mainly word problems. And essentially, we're going to be given some sort of context and then we're going to give be given some multiple choice options here and we've got to figure out um, which of these multiple choice options make sense given the parabola. Okay, so let's go ahead and read through this real quick. Uh, Simon has a certain length of fencing to enclose a rectangle, a rectangular area. The function A, which is just the blue line, models the rectangles, uh, the rectangles area in square meters. So you can see here square, square meters represents our y values, our outputs, and the x values are the width. So um, the width of the the width of the rectangle is going to change the area of the rectangle because the area of anything is well the area of a rectangle is length times width. So as we change the width, we're changing the area. All right, and we've got some options here that we need to identify as either right or wrong. The greatest possible area is 10 meters. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in over here. And I noticed the word greatest and greatest to me is probably talking about the vertex okay the greatest the, the max right that word greatest and it's saying that the greatest area is 10 meters squared well if we look at meters squared the highest point on this blue line we can see that it's even with a hundred ten would be down here and, the, and, and this isn't the great this isn't the area that's the greatest because the line goes above it so we can go ahead and rule out option a option B the greatest possible area is hundred meters well we just talked about that of course that's where the the, the highest point of the blue line goes to so that is absolutely going to be one of our options the area is zero when the width is zero so it, the area is referring to a, a y value right so when it's saying the y value when y when y equals zero when we have a coordinate when a, we have a coordinate of zero for y the width is zero so the width is the x values here so it's telling us is zero zero a point on this graph if we go to zero zero we can see yeah it absolutely is a point on this graph um, so this is absolutely going to be another one of our options when the area is zero so when the y value is zero again the width is about 20 so let's see if the point 20 is the width, which is x. Let's see if that point is also on the graph. 20 for x would be right here, and 0 for y would be right here. So yeah, that point also would be one of our answers here. This is a coordinate point. Question number two. This function is talking about mosquitoes, and it's measuring the this mosquitoes in millions. That's the y value. And the rainfall in centimeters is the x value. So it looks like as the rainfall um, at a certain point, the rain produces more mosquitoes, and then after that point, okay, the more rain is actually probably killing the mosquitoes, it looks like, or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. I've studied science as well as I probably should have. All right, which of the following statements are true? I don't know science, but I do know math. The largest possible number of mosquitoes when rainfall is about, is about two centimeters. So rainfall is X, so we're going to go to where x is 2, which is right here on our graph. And we're going to go all the way up. Is that the largest point on the parabola? Absolutely is. So it looks like option A would be one of our options. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm figuring out the number that it gives me. Is it an x value or is it a y value or is it some other number? I knew this was an x value because it said when the rainfall, which is x, the rainfall, is 2 centimeters. So I went to 2 centimeters. And it says largest possible. Well, that looks like the largest possible point because it's the highest one. So that makes sense. The largest possible number of mosquitoes is when the rainfall is about four. That's obviously not true. Four is down here, and that point is lower than the point that we just talked about. There are no mosquitoes when there is no rainfall. All right, so when there's no rainfall, that means that there's zero rainfall, which means if there's no mosquitoes, that'd be zero mosquitoes. So is the coordinate point zero, zero? C is asking us, is the coordinate point zero, zero on the graph? Yeah, zero, zero is right here. When there's no rainfall, there is no mosquitoes. That is absolutely right. There are no mosquitoes when there is 
four when rainfall is about four centimeters so no mosquitoes is the y value and four mosquito four four centimeters of rainfall would be an x value is that a point on the graph yeah we just dotted it that is also an answer so we've got three answers again for this one all right question number three a we got companies making a mobile app and tracking its income and so we've got uh, the two quantities here the profit is the y value so how much the company makes and how much the the app price is right so it looks like when the app price is two dollars the company is making less money than when the app price is five dollars right so there's a point at which the they're making their maximum profit at seven dollars they're making about 38 million dollars profit right but after seven dollars as they raise the price okay the profits begin to go down because people are are less likely to buy an app that is expensive right um so let's go ahead and, and go through this problem and see which of these are answers the greater the greater app price always relates to greater profit the greater app price the greater the app price is the greater the profit so that's true that's true for all of these numbers whoops what's going on here that's true for all of these numbers right as this as this as we increase the app price the profits going up but as we get to seven okay as the app price gets larger the profit starts going down so as we increase the app price does it always increase the profit no that's not true there's a certain point at which the the app price is actually decreasing the profit and that that is after seven right the greater app price relates to greater profit as long as the app price is more than seven mm, the greater app price relates to greater profit no when the app price is more than seven the profits going down it's when the app price is less than seven um, we see the the profit going up so that option B is definitely out the largest possible profit the company can make is seven million dollars okay so profit is referring to a y value and the largest point on our y value is right here let me get a different color highlights so I can highlight to it right here which would be like we said 38 million maybe if we had to put this as a number it might be 38 so that's definitely wrong the largest possible profit the company can make is about 40 million well 38 is about 40 so yeah D would be an answer here and that's how you do um, interpreting quadratic graphs you just kind of got to read through it and, and, and identify what number um, is it referring to which axis, and then you just kind of um, interpret it uh, intuitively good luck